Hey everyone! Oh, sorry, it's been like a month, but um, yeah, this thing was a lot more um, harder to detail when you have a screaming child. Uh, and also there's a lot of parts. But I'm finally here to do a review because I want to get on with stuff. Um, if you notice, I kind of made this new setup here. It's just two pieces of cardboard. I still gotta paint this so that's all the same shade of black, but whatever. It works. It's also kind of precariously balanced right now. So I can't really move the legger around. But here he is! The Panzer! I actually really, really like it. I enjoy it. It looks cool. It's very bulky. You can't really do much with it, you, you know. Which is kind of weird. But, um... What I noticed is that a lot of the parts get in the way of uh, the rest of it. You actually have to kind of lift things up. And it's all really stiff. I finally got into a pose that I kind of like, given the fact that it's also holding a knife. I'm sorry. And that's, that's from Kodobuke, too. Give me. Give. 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 Give me the knife. Thank you. Ugh. So... Aside from the fact that we all know that the Liger Zero has itty bitty parts that take forever to um, to get in because they connect to other other smaller parts, and then you can in turn connect them to make a slightly less smaller part. But um, I was very very pleased that um, all the parts that you find in the um, on the box art that you can. Um, I can lift him up actually. Whoa, the whole thing's so see That you can um, paint for yourself, like that white stripe in there. And also, uh, ah, it's so bad because I finally, the black and yellow stuff, all that in there. Um, there's like lines so you can follow that. No, Ren, please leave the box. Leave the box alone. But they all are included. So if you are painting by hand, it's very easy to do so and get as much detail as you want. As you see, I, I fully went crazy with detailing this bad boy. Um, if you really, really like the Liger Zero, especially the Panzer and other variants, I would recommend the Zoid. This is um, one that I enjoyed doing. If I can even pop open. No, I can't pop open that. Everything is so stiff on this model right now. And I think that's because it's a very, very heavy Zoid. It's a beefy Zoid. But you can pop open just about all of these missiles here. Okay, maybe not because everything gets in the way of everything. If you want, this is a good thing to just pose and ignore forever. And hopefully it won't weaken its structure. The only issue is that the tail, of course, is very flimsy. I had to actually glue the halves together because I would literally sneeze and it would pop at one of these joints. It's a very, very weak joint. I ended up using all of the segments of my tail. I have four segments in here instead of just three. But let's get them a little bit so you can see the tail. Very sturdy pretty fast build if you don't have you know children and very carefully turning this thing around I enjoyed it so if you are looking for a Zoid of a different color to go into your collection I would definitely suggest the Liga Zero Panzer I had other points that I wanted to get to, but I know my son probably needs me. I left him alone for a little bit because he was quiet. Uh, and so I can't really ramble on about the pros and cons of this thing. I, it, I, I would give it a 4 out of 5. Honestly, if you're a beginner, it looks daunting. But it is a quite an easy monster of a build. You don't have to have any friends coming along to help you out. Everything does move. That you can move when the parts aren't in the way. But I just wanted to get this little out of the way. Uh, 
I will be doing an unboxing of the D Bison soon. And after that, I just got in a Lightning Sykes, not the Irvine Lightning Sykes. I already have one of those. I've never done a video um, review of it, so I guess I'll do that with the um, the regular Sykes, which I do plan to give um, a custom orange and gray paint job to make it look like it's in a racing circuit, just to be fun. But there we go. Yay! I did it. I am so sorry. It took so long. It took a lot longer. I wanted to do this on table, but I couldn't because it's been dominated by the Storm Tyrant, who is still to this day getting panel lined. We just did uh, some of the minor details. We didn't do all the details yet, and he's been panel lining it. There's a lot. There's a lot in that. We haven't even begun to start building. But there we go! Like a Zero Panzer. Fun build. Very fun build. All that detail in there. Stuff that you will never, never see. <laughs> it took a lot. So if you're patient, this is this is a good Zoid for you to learn and to paint and build on. Other than that, and just enjoy the build as is. It looks great without any detail, I can say that much, and without any extras. So have a nice day. Hopefully I'll be back soon with an unboxing of the D-Bison, which I can actually ramble about and talk about and all that other stuff. Because I will be painting that one as well, a custom set of colors. Have a nice day. Sorry this was short. Bye-bye.